Good to have this is MB again and today we are going to talk about PowerShell. What are we going to talk about? Uh, well, obviously PowerShell and uh, PowerShell REST API. Well, REST API, uh, if you already don't know, well, you can just Google it and find out. REST API is a way of interacting um, with components, um, whether it be a server or some hardware device, a software device application. A way of interacting with them uh, getting some value or setting some value uh, with that component to that component or any software hardware application or appliance through HTTP or HTTPS if you go to your browser uh, let's just say go to some browser here I will say Microsoft.com right now, what do you see here? You see HTTP or HTTPS, right? So this is a way of communicating. So uh, every software hardware device nowadays are uh, in most uh, a few years back, they just had this one proprietary way of communicating. So every time uh, some you are an enterprise or an industry, you buy their applications or clients, uh, then you have to train your uh internal team id team to interact with that uh in their proprietary way right so that is a lot of um hmm, what do you say waste of man hours waste of time uh it uh, you, uh, used to restrict uh, your team to move on to some other com uh, no, software hardware team or uh, become hesitant in purchasing a new hardware software appliance for your uh, enterprise because you have to learn that all over again to automate it or to do whatever right uh, but now uh, there is kind of push to uh, uh, implement this rest api for businesses or hardware software vendors um, if they implement it so there is kind of a you know a universal way to interact with them right so we will take an example first we will define the ur i right what is uri well that is for you to google it and find out that's a task for you uh now let's uh, see what uri what i have here so i have googled it and find uh microsoft uri here again i will have this uri posted in the description of this video that is uh this is just blogs.mstnmicrosoft.com uh, uh what i want to do here i want to go ahead and uh, get that information right so let's see what i get i will say invoke hyphen rest method uh hyphen uri and i will say uri let's see what i get so i get a lot of this stuff so uh, what is this a lot of gibberish so i want to filter uh, let's say hmm, what do I get? I want to say format or format table, right? Or I can just say ft hmm, hyphen property title and pub date or publishing date. If you just go to the last one and you can see, you know uh pub date and all that right so uh, i will just do this here and now you see title pub date and uh, what if i want to just create a as well so now you see pub date and do i have a creator here no i think it was never there let me just see hmm oh creator was there let's see select creator but oh, okay i guess i have to do the this way title and then i will say where was it creator so i just want to see this hmm for some reason it doesn't want to give that a problem we we'll work with what we can get so this is uh, a way of you getting that information uh, usually you will have uh, you know f uh, basically you will have uh, three ways of uh, interacting 
with hardware or software application appliance that is get set um or you can also call it uh, now post and then you have uh, delete or modify um, some say it's three four or five but basically just a variation of these three now let's uh, go for something else like uh, this wasn't as uh, this was like too easy right it's never too uh, easy when you're dealing with software or hardware uh, now let's uh, do this and see what we can get from this how do we f5 I'll just clear this stuff out f5 so this is uh, to get what is this uh, uh, rss feed about daily de uh, daily deals from newegg.com uh, they're not sponsoring this video so <laughs> just to be clear i don't even know anyone walking there or something i just googled it and found that okay they have this open api through the it's a uh, unofficial way so it's daily deals as you can see title uh then you have uh title is 99.99 and then you have some comments this is it published date uh, so on this date what are the daily deals that you can get right so that is all you have here i can just go to the very top 100 and 414 dollars you get the seagate barracuda uh 4 tb drive is 64 mb cash i don't know all that good stuff uh let's say you uh, let's try another uri here uh well again it's in the description well you get some errors here mm. probably because that uri is dead um so the old one is still working so you are i'm only you know getting some information here i do not have a way of uh, setting the information or you know creating some uh, uh, data out there because i don't have access to these sites but you if you have uh if you are in an environment or i suggest you to go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, install a basic linux machine and you can install some packages which will enable access uh, to that linux server you can install a linux virtual machine uh, you can communicate with that uh, using a rest api that is a very good way of starting it now uh, starting your are uh, sharpening your skills with uh, rest api so the best part here is even though you are using powershell which is like you know a windows uh, designed for mainly uh, it was intended or mainly uh, the birth the plan behind uh, it was mainly to automate windows uh, stuff but you can also interact with Mac or you know, Linux or anything which supports REST API. It doesn't matter what uh, hardware or software it is or OS it is. So that is my short take on REST API. Um, explore more. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day.